Gymnastics is a very demanding sport. In that one and a half minutes that uh, I execute my routine, there's no room for mistakes. You have to be perfect. When I actually do achieve what I want to achieve, the sense of satisfaction is just amazing. So I like that challenge because I get to push myself to the limit. It's a perfectionist sport where there's an end point. So it kind of gives me uh, this very strong drive to, to work towards that end point. I started when I was seven, but the first few years were uh, very recreational, so it only got serious because um, I qualified for the 2001 SEA Games when I was 12. I definitely know that I missed out a bit of my childhood compared to my peers. Initially, I did feel a bit resentful, like, you know, I, I should be going out to play and catching up with my friends, but why am I in the gym every day? The gymnastics is what I wanted to go into, and when I step on the podium, I look back and I think that all the sacrifices and all the tears was all worth it. Trying to balance academic and uh, my sporting commitments hasn't been easy. My days are generally more a routine than uh, most people because of my commitments. My training schedule is usually about six days a week, so Mondays to Saturdays, and then it will range up to about four to five hours each day. That's during school terms. After the last lesson for the day, I'm usually one of the first one out of class and I hop onto the shuttle service that uh, NUS has that takes me to my training venue. And after training, I just go back home. So every day is the same cycle. I go about school quite a bit on my own because uh, my timetable doesn't match like my friends. I try to come to school a bit earlier so I get some time to do some self-study or anything before my lessons. So in a way, sometimes my friends are not so familiar with me. When I'm in school uh, or when I'm in class, then you know they, they kind of wonder, oh, you know, this girl comes in and out and she disappears for a while. Sometimes when I go overseas, then she dis uh, I disappear for like two weeks or a week and they're all wondering where I am. I do feel a bit like detached from them, but I think that's what I need to achieve my goals and my aim. Before or after graduation, gymnastics will always be part of my life. So I think it's important to give back because I've been given the opportunity to excel in my sport and I hope that uh, by sharing my experiences, I'm able to inspire the new generation. If you have a dream, I think take calculated risks and go for it because that's very important and you don't want to look back 10 years from now and say what if I had given myself the chance to do whatever I wanted to do. As a gymnast, going to the Olympic was a dream come true for me because the Olympics is the highest level and highest stage that any gymnast can compete on. I thought that I'll be able to come to terms or know what it's going to be like at the Olympics because I competed at many other world championships but just before I marched into the arena, I realised that no, this is different. My name is Heng Wei. I'm the first gymnast to represent Singapore at the Olympics and I'm a year to undergrad at NUS Business School.